Welcome to another exciting episode of the Advocate on Plus TV Africa. Great panelists with topical issues, no old bad. We tell it like it is. On today's episode, I'll be looking at cybercrime. From Abuja, Hussein will be speaking on the adversity of mediocrity and selfishness. Elijah will speak on governance and humanity. To add to our advocacy is Reverend Lekon. Permit me to lead the way right after this short break. Cybercrime, the root causes behind youth involvement. Still in the spirit of celebrating the International Youth Day, with a focus on digital pathways, it's critical to confront youth involvement in digital crime. While the digital age brings immense opportunities, it also presents risk, especially for young people drawn into cybercrime as a way to navigate economic and social challenges. Poverty, hunger, unemployment, and economic instability are the primary factors pushing youth towards these illicit activities. Lacking access to the resources needed to acquire digital skills, many young people turn to cybercrime as a quick fix for their financial struggles. Compounding these issues are outdated policies that fail to engage or support the youth, leaving them disillusioned and vulnerable to negative influences. As an advocate for youth empowerment, so I suggest stronger collaboration between governments, the private sector, and communities to unearth the digital space for positive development. Providing affordable digital education, creating pathways to legitimate employment, and fostering a mindset that views the digital space as a tool for sustainable development are critical steps in this process. In this International Youth Day, let's renew our commitment to equipping young people with the tools and opportunities they need to thrive in a digital world tearing them away from crime and towards a brighter, more sustainable future. Well, um, you know, we're still in the spirit of the International um, Youth Day and um, beyond celebrating, you know, the International Youth Day, this year's theme is, you know, very, very essential to discuss about. And um, we, we can see, you know, in this day and time, right, that the youth, the youth are tilting into cybercrime, right? Um, they're going into, I, I don't know if Hussein is still, is, is here, is still here, Hussein? As yes, you guess. yes okay. I can tell you. All right, I can good. tell you about that. Good, thank you, thank you. All right, so we, we, we've seen that um, we're currently celebrating, or this week we're celebrating the International Youth Day, and there is need to address the root causes of cyber crime engagement or involvement by youth. So, Hussein, let's hear from you first. What do you think? Okay, so uh, I would say the root cause should be from parenting. We have a, a large gap in the aspect of parenting these days, okay. where the parents do not have proper guidance. And you see the youth going with societal pressure of what they see, and then nobody to guide them what uh, is right or wrong. And it's funny that even today we have uh, uh, association of Yahoo boys' mothers. It's crazy to the extent that the some is people are celebrating them. Ex exactly. Yeah. So some people are celebrating things that they should not celebrate. So all, all these things are becoming worrisome to the extent that yes, government is failing to pro provide its own responsibility. But they said uh, charity begins at home. But quite all right. Uh, quite, that being said. Even the charity begins at home, a lot of parents are failing at that point. And on the school aspect, we also lack the aspect of um, we also lack the aspect of um, um, the we also lack the aspect of guidance and counseling. Mm. It is also missing in the school speech. So, which means uh, at the point, the checking points to help guide these young people is actually not in place, then we we'll now talk about the bigger part. Because it is when you build the foundation from the parents to the school, that's when you now talk about the community and regulation of 
private sector creating opportunity or the government also creating opportunity. But I think if you have to discuss the root cause, you have to go back to the basis where we get it wrong. Then discuss have our discussions on that part. Mm. Oh. All right. Um, Re okay. Reverend uh, Abiola Kushen, yes, we'd like to get your thoughts on this. Uh, youth, um, uh, youth restive unrest and um, cyber crime. You know, we're in the area of digital economy mm -hmm. and the rest. So, what are your thoughts on it? To me, it's not strange to me because of one single word that I learned in uh, theology. They call the word is called eschatology. Okay. Mm. The wrapping up of events. As I'm talking now, I strongly believe that you know we are using jara time, extra time. Mm -hmm. okay. Because at every two thousand years something will happen. And we have marked another two thousand years. Mm -hmm. Are you getting me? So the other one we are using to me, to me personally, I believe that we are using extra time. So it's not a uh, out of place that all these things are happening and i link that to the uh, issue of uh, this when we talk about food security this and that mm -hmm. okay so i get your point sir. so this period now the the the, the era we are now yes. social vices have increased yes. and then the the root cause can you just see do you think it's more of uh Hussein is, like is talking say. about a lack of improper parenting so do you think that if okay as a reverend will you see what about the aspect of religious sake with the most and the church is there a way they can instill positive values in the youth coming from you as a reverend in the church so people who are not ready to to listen to the word of god what they are ready for is we are to get money people say they are looking for job abby yeah in actual fact they are not looking for job they are looking for where to stay <laughs> to play smart they are not looking for job they are not looking for that is where i look at it okay mm. so well that's, that's a very good one so, that's um, a very good one but in my own in my own opinion though i i really appreciate the fact that you said this is it. People are always putting the cats before the horse. Mm -hmm. People looking for, when they say they want to get a job, they are not looking for necessarily looking People for a job. They are not devoted to any, any yes. job. And then Hussein is saying um, there is an association of Yahoo boys. Yeah, um, Actually, I've heard of situations where parents encourage. tend to buy laptops mm -hmm. for their uh, young children and tell them, go and do what your mates are doing now. Mm -hmm. The issue is that the world has gone beyond more. Mort, uh, what do you call it, mortar and bricks. Mm -hmm. We are now in, those not just mortar and bricks, we are now in cyberspace. Mm -hmm. Where you can actually build big real estate, what billions of dollars. You can actually have big real estate in quotes, mm -hmm. in the cyberspace, what three billions of dollars too. Like Elon Musk, you have Elon Musk yeah. buying so many Bitcoin, have you? Mm -hmm. You have his uh, cyber star link and the rest. There are always positive things. That Everything can positive done. can be abused. Yeah. So I think the root cause, as I agree with uh, Hussein and and what Reverend uh, Abula Kusheng is saying mm -hmm. about people not looking for the real essence of life rather than how they can cheat system for their own gain. Mm -hmm. Hussein is saying parenting. Right. I'm coming from this angle. Moral decadence oh. in the society and lack of value. We need people to understand that being educated is important. Education mm -hmm. is beyond schooling. And then use things for your positive agenda. How do you want to get, how do you want to become positive in your environment? Positive. Learn the skills. If you want to be a businessman like Dangote, don't look at the kind of car or the properties Dangote has. The question is, how do you want to be a Dangote? You need to learn about strategy. Mm -hmm. You need to learn about business. Mm -hmm. Then if you want to become a programmer to earn money, let's say you want to be someone that is playing a role, like we have Mark Zuckerberg, right? Yeah. That has this, the social media space, mm -hmm. all these things. Now the question is, what skills do I need to learn? I need to learn need software, to able, yeah. uh, programming. I need to you know, learn those skills. Build up yourself. What problem? Identify a problem in the society, then solve the problem. Yes, Money will flow. Solving, so it's, it's not by looking at guys driving G wagon, yeah. Benz, and all those things. That, those are the distractions. Mm -hmm. These are the uh, Baba will say, or oh, sorry, uh, Reverend uh, uh, Abiola uh, Kushen will say, seek ye first the kingdom of God, and mm -hmm. everything will be active. Let, let, me, let me drag it and it's a political. Seek ye first skills mm -hmm. and development, economic development will come your way. Mm -hmm. That's my um, very interesting you know i actually appreciate the diverse um, you know point of view and perspective but then again in my opinion right there's still um, if we are going to address the root cause 
right? Um, I don't know if you saw this thing that was trending during the end bad government, you know, um, protest where a father came out and said that his son, um, you is know, a yes, is a programmer, right. but then he, he doesn't have the resources. Data. He could, he cannot afford the resources, you know, to encourage and you know, and answer and nest the skills that his son has, right? So now that's where we see um, economic, you know, instability coming. That's where we see hunger coming. We see poverty coming as those root causes. And now, when we have young people who cannot, they don't have access to resources, they don't have access to, you know, food. They can't even eat food, you know, and you're telling them, you know, so, so, they, they, and, and then they've come to see that, okay, this Yahoo Yahoo people, just like Hussein has already said, right, um, I, I feel like they've gone to that point where they just come out, you know, they come out with their cars and they're flaunting it. There was a, even a particular time where people, these guys, you know, would come out and say, oh, yes, I'm a Yahoo boy. Or I'm, I'm into you, I'm a Yahoo girl. Do you understand? Yeah, people, they come out to do that. Do you understand why? But the root cause is because they, they, they feel like fraud is Poverty. the fastest way, you know, to get money. They feel right? Things, right? Precisely. Okay, now, the, for me, I, I we still beg to differ a bit. The problem here is not just that. The problem, just like what Reverend, mm -hmm. Reverend Kushen is saying, he's saying that people don't look for jobs. They're looking for oh. where to steal. Where to now, steal. the issue is that it's more of decadence. If, mm -hmm. if you are hungry, are you a good person? Since you're a moral and good person and you're hungry, would you steal to eat? Precisely. So what I'm saying is that values, mm -hmm. education should instill the right values, family should instill the right values. When you've gotten the right values mm -hmm. to life, you would have you, the clarity, oh. strategy, and positive idea and mindset to, to, work. to work and then harness True. opportunity to yourself positively. Mm -hmm. So you are pushed me uh -huh. to, oh, okay, uh, you're saying want to say something. something to say. Yes, I actually want to add something. Uh, from my own end, I think uh, on the government aspect as well, we are having a lot of bureaucracy where uh, government are not putting the right people into policy making. Mm -hmm. And I believe in the advanced nation, when you have the right people who understand what is actually happening in, in, in the society, they set a tone and a law, not just in Nigeria, where a lot of laws are out how going out to make out Nigerians, right? When you see the cyber security, whatever, maybe blah, 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 blah. They're not actually bringing out the essence of curbing the cyber crime itself and uh, making it look at, not like at all these ambiguity laws. And I believe it's more, we have things that are good on paper than implementation. If mm. the uh, government actually plays their own in giving, putting people in the right place and enforcing certain laws inside the society, I believe people will be scared. Take, for example, in some instances in developed nations, there are uh, some limitations of amount that you can have in your account that you can spend. Once you spend above those amounts, your account is automatically flat at certain age or certain pattern. What are you buying? You know, all these things are things they check to profile such a person and also have a way to, you know, uh, caution them and install right senses forcefully into their society, in, into the youth. But here we have, even we have an identity problem where we have uh, multiple identification systems, you have driving license, you have NIN, you have, you know, all sorts of identification. Yeah. To even try to narrow things down, to be able to even track these people and be able to say, these and these are things that you should do. And when you are going away, away from the right thing, the law should be there to be able to guide you back. So we have a problem. And I think another problem is the government. And we need to stop, you know, I don't know. We have a lot of people in government today that they don't allow the right people to, you know, to push, to be in the right place. So all those bureaucracy is another problem for us to get things right. So we need to have a system, and government has to set a precedent to a better system beyond the parenting, beyond the education system. Government is there to guide and to enforce and to set the tone for a senior society. Mm. I, believe, I believe that uh, the, what is going on in society is an inherent behavior. Okay. Because when you, you just like uh, when we read the scripture, we talk, we talk of Adam and Eve. 
So when you get to First Samuel chapter chapter two, I think you see the children of uh, Eli committing various atrocities, even stealing, meeting with uh, women that came for prayer, this and that. So when I read about that, I so I said I just look at it that so this evil behavior has been on from time to time. Yeah, young so, persons perpetuating that. Yes. Mm. So somebody you said something earlier on that people are not training their children. This I talk about that. Saying, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so it is very it is very important. You see people now send their children to send their children their world to schools, to secondary school, from primary school to this and that, to university level. All they are with, uh, expect uh, waiting for is excellent performance, excellent performance. Nobody talk. They don't bother themselves about moral aspect the of life, mm. or how they even achieve that. Mm. Yes. <laughs> what they want is. I was shocked when my second daughter was uh, went to write a common entrance. Some people gather themselves together and meet the invigilator to give him money to so that he can figure their this thing. Their children. Mm. Their children. That is in Nigeria here. Parents. So parents, you can figure their children. Wow. So God is what people are all, always after because they want to they want to have uh, their more real kind of life living. living. That's yeah. the same thing I said earlier that some parents will buy a laptop for their children and tell them to go and go do and what they are meeting. Just yes, like so when we can encourage young girls and say, Okay, you're a beautiful lady, we are suffering. So you don't know what your beta is going to bring on. So okay. all those things are very common yeah. and it's owing to moral decadence. Mm -hmm. But Covering this issue, basically, yeah. the government institutions that are involved in tackling this issue before their processes, mm -hmm. they should be more strategic. Mm -hmm. And also, why they are kind of a stick method to me, why you flog the people involved, mm -hmm. not them. EFCC, for instance, after doing your work, what other alternative will you Do preach you to young have, people? Can yeah. you sponsor programs that will encourage young people to learn mm -hmm. fintech? Yeah. Like we said, we is in fintech. Oh, she can, can learn those things. Mm -hmm. Related issues, how yeah. you can use yeah. Why you stop those? But yeah. I believe you should know something about binary opposition of life. Yeah. Even as government is doing this, as this one is doing that, the opposition of life we make and the people some people are always we always go against we know that, that that's where the character that. that the stick comes so, in. And okay. those are we should know and that's why we have laws. So that we should know we should not throw that out. You should not throw that out. So, it no matter what government is doing, but we individual, the person is, they have a lot to do. Yeah, very true, very true. So, um, in preventing this, just like you said, in curbing this, right, organizing programs, you know, the carrot and sticks, allows to punish the, or, or try to correct those behaviors. It's also good for you to organize programs. And, and that, I think that's where education comes in, education. right? Educating the youth, orientation, you know, um, to also enhance empowerment. So just like we said, right, some of these people who engage in cyber crime come out to be proud of what they do. So how about people who are youth entrepreneurs or young entrepreneurs come out to, you know, share their stories. I like their stories. You have to empower other young people to tilt their mind from the negative, you know, aspect of digital space into the positive aspect in order to create change. So yeah.